always wanted to say this. I'm on a boat and it's my boat. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. All my returning subscribers, you know what I'm about to say, but if you're new to this channel, if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, welcome. My name is Eric. You are watching my channel, Flow Bass. It is so great to have your smiling face right here in this video. All right, guys, so if you've been following along since the beginning, you guys know I've been beating the bank on foot, and then I finally got a kayak, and now we have got a boat. This is a huge step, such a huge step towards reaching my goal that I wanted to achieve ultimately with YouTube and with my life and I cannot wait to get it started. First, I wanna give a huge shout out to Cody. Thank you so much for the deal on this boat. It was such a great deal. And you know, considering the abuse that this thing's gone through, it's in such amazing shape. You took really good care of it. And I just appreciate everything you did that Saturday so much. I've got a lot of big plans for this Tracker 14 right here behind me. I haven't picked a name for it yet. Maybe you guys can help me out with that. But I've got a ton of big plans. We're gonna be doing some amazing things with this boat. It's probably not what most of you guys are gonna be thinking. Yes, it's fishing related, but wait and see guys, just wait and see. But right now in its current form, I cannot really do what I wanna do with this boat. So we gotta build a deck if you haven't guessed from the title of this video and all this wood that I have here and the carpet. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And just a forewarning guys, I have no business teaching you guys how to build a boat deck. This is just gonna be basically an overview of how I'm doing it, but by no means don't take this as a how-to. I have absolutely no business teaching you guys this particular process, but I just wanted to show you how I'm gonna do it, my thought process behind it, and maybe if it inspires you guys, you might be able to go out and build your own boat, Jack. If you have a John boat or you're thinking about getting one, give it a shot. <laughs> So I don't know how much of this I actually am gonna show you guys because like I said, this isn't a how-to on how to build a boat deck. This is just me building my boat deck and making a lot of mistakes and learning from them and just doing a lot of trial and error. But now you guys can see a little bit of what I've got going on and it's starting to come together and look like a deck and I'll go over behind what materials I'm using and why I'm using them. All right, so here's what the frame looks like so far. Now the main material that I'm using are one by threes obviously. I've got them vertical because that's gonna provide a lot more strength when your force is being applied down that way. And then also I have some one by twos right here and then also right here. So basically the one by threes span the distance from the very first little platform right here all the way to the center seat. I have two main ones and then I actually started to brace right here as well because this is going to eventually be a hatch that lifts open. And then back here, I separated some little spaces here so I can obviously fit a tackle box as you could see. And then off to the sides, this is where I plan on putting my rods. And then what I'm gonna do here in a little bit is make some supports to put under here that attach to the floor. So this way it'll support some more downward pressure and it won't be so rickety. I mean, it's actually really solid right now, but there is a little bit of flex when you have that downward force. So that'll take care of that and this will be good to go to put the deck on it. Now, some of you that are a little observant or you're looking at the recommended videos off to the side of the screen over here, you might actually recognize this boat deck. Uh, this was actually inspired by another YouTuber that goes by the name of JT Gatoring. And this guy built a removable lightweight 
boat deck. And the design is very similar. This is what I got my inspiration from and I based my design off of. But the main difference between mine and his is that I did not take these beams and span them all the way across to this center here. I wanted to leave this space open because I wanna have a nice big hatch to be able to access all my gear, uh, bilge pump, life vest, whatever. He made a little hatch that only spans the width of these two beams. It's not very large, still functional, but personally, this is just what is gonna work for me much better. Finished up the framework, I'm pretty happy with it. Kinda, sorta. I mean, it's my first time framing out a boat deck, so uh, it looks pretty crusty, but it's gonna get the job done, I'm pretty confident. So I added some two by four supports, so to keep the downward pressure from caving everything in, take a look. For the deck itself, the material I'm using is actually blonde wood. It was so much lighter than your typical pine board uh, piece of plywood. Um, I was gonna go with like particle board. That's pretty light too, but I just, I wasn't confident in the particle board. When you drill into that, the pieces start to splinter off and chip off. And I wasn't, just wasn't confident. But this, this piece of blonde wood behind me, it was a premium price. I had to pay about 40 bucks for this sheet, but it's gonna be so worth it. It's so light and it's just as rigid as your standard sheet of plywood. So I'm really happy with that. Overall, I mean, the frame itself, the reason why I went with the one by threes and the one by twos for the frame was that it, that material is so light as well. And then in the position that I have it, having it angled straight up and down, it is extremely, extremely strong. I have no worries whatsoever that this is gonna be able to support my weight or two people or even possibly three people. So I'm definitely confident in that. And then coupled with the blonde wood, we are gonna be perfect. So I have my outline made right here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use the skill saw or circular saw, whatever. And I'm just gonna cut just on the inside of this line because when I traced it, it was just on the outside rail of the boat. So cutting on the inside of that line should get me very close to the internal dimensions that the deck needs to be. If I have to trim it up, it's not really gonna be a big deal. That's why I chose wood to build this deck instead of like aluminum because it's pretty easy to work with within my means. Maybe if I was a metal fabricator, this thing would be totally aluminum, but guys, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just a regular guy, do it yourselfer. So let's get this thing cut and we are getting close to the finish line. Well, there's the deck. That is actually extremely light for how much material I actually use. I'm really, really happy with this. Had to use these two by fours just for some added support. And I stood on this earlier. It absolutely does not budge. Now I'm trying to figure out if I cut the door for the hatch that I wanna make, or if I should just weather seal this first because it's like 5.30 right now and I don't know how much longer I feel like working on this. I started at about nine o'clock, so this has been a long, long project, but mm, I don't know. I think I'm gonna weather seal it, and then after it's cured, I'll go ahead and cut the door. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, not really sure, 
but at least I'll feel better about leaving it out once it is weather sealed. So that's what I'm gonna do. Well, it is the next weekend. Last you saw, I finished up weatherproofing the deck and so far it seems to be holding up okay. The water's beating off really nicely, so pretty happy about that. I was a little worried. It didn't rain all week up until yesterday. And obviously, today's Saturday, and when it rained on Friday, I was, <laughs> I was biting my fingernails. I was pretty worried that this was gonna be just absolutely waterlogged, but the stain had plenty of time to cure and looking pretty good. So yeah, I gotta trim it up, cut the hatch, um, cut the hole for my little latch. I bought a little latch that has a little lock, just a plastic one. So I didn't wanna spend so much money on like a metal stainless steel one. They were like almost a hundred bucks for the type that I was looking for. So I had to cut it down to the plastic one because I didn't want my latch to be more than the materials it costs to build a deck. Didn't make too much sense to me. So once we do all that, I can throw the motor on the back and I wanna take this thing for a test drive so freaking bad. You don't even understand. I don't know if I'll catch a fish off of it. I at least want to get this thing in the water and zip it down the canal and just see how she feels, see how it gets up on plane with the deck, how everything feels, and then we can take the next step. But let me shut up and keep on going. All right, so guys, as you can see, I went ahead and I traced the underside of the uh, of the deck. I traced it around the frame that I built, so this way I know where to make my cuts for the lid. Kind of gives you a pretty good idea of where it's gonna be and how big the lid is actually going to be. And then also what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill some pilot holes so I know where to screw in my screws to secure the rest of the deck to the frame once I'm all finished. Because obviously you can't see that when the board's flipped over. You're just kind of guessing and driving screws in. So I'll drill some little pilot holes. And I already have these holes drilled right here. So the board will sit exactly where it was on the frame, which is right over there. Before I go ahead and start screwing everything down, I'll know it'll be in the right spot. All right, well, here's the hole. It's not pretty by any means, but I guess there's been worse hatches in the history of uh, DIY John Boat builds. And like I said, uh, this is not a how-to. I'm just <laughs> documenting my process and how it's going with uh, my particular build. But yep, so I'm going to put this on that guy right there, screw it all down, and then we will get the Hatch figured out, and we are on the home stretch, boys and girls. Don't forget about the girls. She's coming along. I got the deck completely secured to the frame, so we are good to go there. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that hatch door because obviously the tools that I'm using, it doesn't take away enough material, so there's only a tiny, tiny, tiny little gap. Tiny one. When you roll the carpet over these edges, it's probably just not going to fit. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do to take off some more material. I'm very limited on what I have and I'm not gonna go out and buy like a belt sander or anything like that. Belt sander would 100% solve my problem. So I gotta figure something out there. All 
right, so we made our gap a little bit wider as you could see. It's not as wide over there on that end because the door's not centered, but she's gonna get the job done, boys and girls. All two of you that actually watch my channel. Well, I don't know how much of that I'm actually gonna show you guys because this whole latch situation and I was trying to mess with the hinge as well, it just was an absolute failure. I mean, this is my first time doing any type of this work, so it's all a learning experience. That's why I said, this isn't a how-to, but the hinge doesn't really work. The door doesn't really open like it should, and the latch, I, I messed up the measurements. Completely my fault. What an absolute goog. But I don't want to stop here. I'm going to carpet this thing. Just keep making forward progress. At least get the carpet on, because, I mean, I do have the lid. I can open it. There's, it's just going to come right off as soon as I open it. So... I'm okay with that for the time being until I figure something out, but I can carpet it and still take care of that at a later date. So I think what I'm going to do is start gluing the carpet down on the deck as it is right here. I know it's gonna kind of waste a little bit of carpet because once, it, once the glue starts to set, I'll start to trim around the edges of the deck so I can kind of start to tuck things up and everything like that. Um, but I will have a lot left over still, so that's good because there's some other projects that I want to do with this carpet and the boat. Can't wait for that. It's going to have a nice plush interior, but for now, this is what I've got. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm learning as I go, so I hate to waste the carpet a little bit, but it's not going to be too bad. So let's get to it. <laughs> Well, I got the carpet laid down. I'm gonna let this tack up for just a little bit. I'm gonna go and eat some lunch and then we'll come back and start trimming it a little bit just around the edges only. And then I'll do the door and then we gotta let this cure for at least 24 hours before we actually start doing stuff with it. Once I, after I'm done trimming it and it's cured, I'm going to staple it underneath so it's held a lot tighter than just this glue. I mean, I put a substantial amount down, but you still need to keep the edges tucked underneath so they don't start peeling up. You could possibly trip over those. And then, of course, just the constant wear and tear, they could start to fray. And then you gotta do your carpet all over again. No bueno. So we've got the carpet drying right there. And I've got a mess to clean up right here. So I'm pretty much going to call it for today and then continue first thing in the morning. I'll go ahead and start trimming up all the excess carpet around the deck and then get it stapled into place. I'll cut out the hole for the hatch. Still got to figure out what I'm going to do for the hatch because it's just, it's not working correctly. But I'll figure something out. And then that's pretty much it. She'll be ready to go on the water. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. It's day 274 of this deck build and the polar ice caps have beginning to melt and we are now experiencing Kevin Costner's Waterworld. <laughs> yeah, it's felt like forever that uh, I've been working on this deck, but we're nearing completion. Um, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be a deck. It's gonna work. It's going to have deck-like properties and uh, you'll be able to stand on it. So I'm gonna finish wrapping up the carpet. I'm gonna wrap it over the edges, staple it down, make sure everything's good to go. And then pretty much I just, all that's left is I have to secure it to the boat. I have some brackets that I'm gonna attach so it doesn't fly out while you're driving down the road. And we are 
good to go, guys. So let's get after it. Do you guys hear that? Here's me. Okay, so I've cut out the carpet. I basically left about an inch of material and I'm gonna use that to wrap around the edge of the deck. And I'm gonna start stapling it in place and that's gonna keep, that in conjunction with the glue is gonna help keep the carpet in place and should be able to provide me quite a few years of service before I have to replace the carpet if it starts peeling up. I think I did a pretty good job, so pretty happy with that. I also cut out the hatch right here. I didn't show that on camera because it's really hot and I just forgot. I'm trying to get this thing done, but uh, we are nearing the end. I also have to trim up the lid as well, put the handle in, and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do for a hinge later. I used like a piano hinge and it just didn't work out correctly. So I gotta figure out something there, but for now, at least if I put the handle in, I'll be able to just flip it open and just put it to the side. And then when I'm done, just put it back in place. But it'll get the job done for now, so I'm happy with that and I'm excited to get this in the boat. We're almost there. is a fully carpeted deck. Let's get this thing on the boat and see what she looks like. Looking good. Oh, all right, not too bad for my very first deck if I do say so myself. I mean, don't don't mind all the dirt and everything like that. That's we'll vacuum that up. But man, Ooh, hoo, hoo. look at that! So if you take a look inside my little lid, I have it secured down right here with these brackets, and got one over there. And whoops, maybe I'll I don't know. I might not put a hinge on this. It seems to work just fine. But got the. Other one right there, missing a screw on the bottom. I couldn't get it to stretch and reach, but it is what it is. It's holding everything just fine, so this is not gonna come flying off. The one thing that is bothering me is right here, you could see that there's just a little bit of room where this is not sitting flush on top of this seat, or, well, it kinda is sitting flush on that seat, but the wood that I chose was not really a premium grade, so it was, twisted and bent a little bit so it's not sitting totally flush and when I come to walk on top of this or anyone else that happens to be on this boat I don't want to feel this that is going to drive me insane so I'm going to try and find some brackets to uh, paint like an OD olive drab green or whatever and just to span this distance it'll help hold this down 
so there's that i'll put one on this side too just in case there's a little bit of movement but not much that sits really flush i like that and then you can see how the wood is twisted so and then it'll help hide the cuts in the carpet that i didn't make too well so but overall i am genuinely genuinely happy with how this came out this is the first time i've ever done anything like this and i think it came out pretty good had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I just kind of knew what I wanted the end result to be. Definitely, I can, I can get a lot better at this for sure. It's not anywhere near perfect, but it definitely works. And it was very cheap and pretty lightweight too. One thing left to do is to test it out. That probably wasn't the test you were hoping for. Honestly, it wasn't either for me, but uh, I don't have much time left. Got a little important dinner tonight. And uh, so I'm gonna put the boat away and that pretty much wraps up the deck. Let's take one last look at it. She's definitely not pretty, but you know what? She gets the job done and that's what matters the most. Absolutely in love with this thing. I'm so, so, so satisfied with how it came out. Even though it's not perfect, it's my first time and I love it. But that sound right there means I gotta go. So thank you so much for watching guys. My name's Eric. This is the Flow Bass channel. There are freaking big things coming. The boat is just small, small part of it. So definitely stay tuned for part two where I'm gonna be picking out my propulsion for this, both electric and gas. So stay tuned for that. I cannot wait to show you. Once that's on the boat, we'll get her out on the water, hopefully catch our first fish out of this baby. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you wanna see that and watch the evolution of this mini, mini bass boat build. Till next time, I'll see you then. Peace out. You're not going to like this noise. Teachy Weezy. What's up?